Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Karen Crago from No More Milk, published by Sundress Publications in 2016. The poem I'm going to read is entitled Ars Poetica. I want to say this simply. I was out near the river. The trees were bare and would be. I saw no black snake in the undergrowth, but that doesn't mean it wasn't there, all mouth and narrow appetite, nosing the dirt. I could feel all I was losing. I was a hollow tree, enough space beneath my sternum for a nest. There was no one to hold me but the world, the empty air. Couldn't it be love that makes the cardinal stand a fresh wound against the sky? Could love make you sing like that, desperate, terrible? Um, and that was Ars Poetica by Karen Crago from No More Milk, Sundress Publications, 2016. If you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of the video for more information about the poet. Uh, Karen Crago, as well as where to purchase his book, and more information about other projects and poetry, well, just all sorts of other stuff I'm doing right now. Uh, links to other projects and uh, online resources are available there. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really want to say. I'm just grateful for all of you who have joined us in the last few weeks and thankful for anyone that's new watching for the first time. This series is all about celebrating contemporary poets and occasionally dipping into um, some older poets, and once in a while I'll read things of my own. Um, but for the most part, it's just an opportunity to draw more attention to some really great work that's happening out there, and uh, perhaps to create a dialogue, or maybe to inspire you, or to turn our minds back to, to work that we might not have thought of for, for a few years, or a few <laughs> months, or a few weeks, whatever it is. Um, we can find joy in returning to literature, and we can have the experience of being transported, have the experience of being enthralled um, by someone else's words, someone else's vision. And so in some small way, I hope that this is accomplishing that, is allowing you entry into the world of poetry, um, even if it's just to stick your toe in, to, to test it out. Um, and if it inspires you to write, all the better. Um, so. I wish you all the very best and hope, um, well, hope that you're doing well and staying healthy. Um, we're having winter here coming soon. We already had frost a couple days ago, uh, which I am grateful did not stick around, but uh, rain right now and kind of cold winds. So we're, uh, we're on the cusp of winter and uh, soon enough it'll be here. But hopefully you're staying warm wherever you are and you're finding opportunities to create. Um, until next time, I wish you all the very best. I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series, and we'll be back again with more poetry and more readings um, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. If you like what we're doing, please hit the thumbs up and like the button, or like the button, like the video, um, comment below if there are things that you would like to see, or if you just have a comment or response to what we're doing, and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. All these things really just help you to display these videos to more people, makes it more visible, and hopefully inspires more people to check out these poets and buy their books, uh, which I think would be great. I think as a poet with a book, I'm always thrilled when someone buys my book, um, and it's always exciting to know that you're being read. And I, I think uh, in some small way this helps, you know, helps share that and enable that. So until next time, all the best. We'll be back again soon with more poetry and more readings. And uh, until then, take care and goodbye.